David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about <coughs> CE2301 statics, talking about moment of inertia, rotated axes, and more circle. I hope you've had a chance to watch part one of this, which was a discussion of the basics of moment of inertia and rotation of axes. Now I'm going to solve a problem that was similar, sort of a composite from something we had on a recent test. We gave you a plot of Mohr circle with a few values from which you can figure everything else and we showed you the shape over here. So remember that uh, the moment of inertia is plotted on the horizontal scale, the product of inertia is plotted on the vertical scale and so we gave you the circle and we identified the minimum as in this case 10 inches to the fourth power and the maximum moment of inertia 120 inches to the fourth power and we showed you a plot but didn't tell you what the value was of the center of the circle C then here was the element this red shaped blob and oriented like that and here we have the Y and the X axes and here we have the U and the V axes U being the maximum moment of inertia axis V being the minimum moment of inertia axis so you can kinda see remember moment of inertia measures the spread of an area about an axis the spread is maximum about this U axis kinda passing um, perpendicular through the center to give the, uh, the biggest area away from it the V axis goes longitudinally through it to give the minimum spread so as the minimum moment of inertia then we also said that it was 35 degrees or some rotation angle on the test it was 30 or 40 anyway so the angle from the maximum axis for to get maximum moment of inertia to the x-axis is 35 degrees counterclockwise works out the same of course from V to, uh, to Y Okay, the first thing we asked you for was the center, and we asked for the abscissa, which is the coordinate of the center of the circle, which is also the average moment of inertia. So I get the average by adding up the two values that I know, 120 and 10, dividing by 2, and so I get my center is at 65 inches to the fourth. Note that, before we go on, I want to briefly touch on the fact that at I max and I min, my product of inertia is zero. The scale here on the left, the vertical scale on the left is zero. At the center, at the average moment of inertia, I'm going to have the maximum product of inertia. This coordinate of this point or this point. Okay, so it's a circle. I need to know what the radius is, and I'm going to draw all this stuff over here but I can tell the radius of a circle is the distance from this point to the center or from this point to the center doesn't make any difference so the radius of this circle is 120 minus 65 the center coordinate is which is 55 if I know that now I know everything I need to know about this all the moments of inertia about this shape okay so over here I've drawn it just kind of freehanded the circle and I want to know I was asked for what IX is the moment of inertia about the x-axis which is 35 degrees counterclockwise from the u-axis so here is the plot of the u-axis moment of inertia right here on this horizontal I max 120 because it's 35 degrees rotation on the element I want to rotate 70 degrees or twice that on more circle so I rotate up this point, my radius is 55, and that angle is 70 degrees. I'm starting off at the center point of 65. So here I've taken this triangle and kind of enlarged it and put it over here. If that's the center, that point right there, 65. I've got a triangle with 70 degree angle. It's a right triangle with a height H and a base B. Its hypotenuse is the radius, 55. 
And so I can figure out what H is and figure out what B is for this triangle just by the sine and the cosine functions. And I get a number. Okay, I need to know how to deal with that number. For IX, what I'm really dealing with is the coordinates along this horizontal axis. So I'm starting at 65, and I want to find the coordinate if I read down from this point all the way down to this axis. What I'm taking is 65, and I'm adding that B dimension of 18.81 to it, and that gives me IX. 65 plus 18.81 is 83.8 inches to the fourth. So that's the second answer. I also wanted to know what IY is. Okay, I've got the same triangle inverted over here. Same starting point of 65. I want to find out, this is the coordinate of IY. I read up to this line, which is going along this line here. So this coordinate on the horizontal scale, uh, the moment of inertia scale, is 65 minus 18.81, or 46.2 inches to the fourth. Finally, I was asked for the product of inertia, Ixy, of this shape. And I can just read off the Mohr circle by going from this point, the Ix plot, over to the... Uh, vertical scale, which takes me to this point, and I get the height of this triangle, 51.7 inches to the fourth. I guess I've got to answer the phone.